good morning everyone hope you're all okay right I'm coming on this morning um to show angie and another lady that asked i can't remember who sorry how i stick the the gold flakes on i just thought i would show you these feathers the feathers that's the one i showed you the other day and i'll leave the link to how i did the paper it's cellophane with some old glass paints that I used didn't know whether it would work but I wanted to have a go cellophane from flowers that you get and I've just used for these stems I've just used some of these seed beads and I think they're really pretty I've so enjoyed doing these those um, oh and then I did another ATC started another ATC right here's my big box of flakes that I've had forever <laughs> and for a lot of them I've just used Pritt stick one of them I don't know which I tried this glue and I didn't get any special glue when I when I bought this. And this one, I bought this from Hobbycraft. I mentioned this the other day. Bought this from Hobbycraft, thinking it was something else, but it's actually a glue to stick gold leaf sheets and gold flakes on. And the instructions on this are to to put it on and leave it for one to two hours until it goes like tacky. But I have done that on some things like on that I just I put it on and then I just left it well I turned it upside down in the flakes actually just left it and come back and rubbed it off the flakes off later um, but Pritt sticks as good as anything I find I, I mean I'm assuming it'll stay on probably all the flakes will fall off one day I don't know but say I've just used a, a Pritt stick Dab it on here and there. Oopsie. You can, if you've not put enough on, you can always go back and do some more. I forgot to rub my hands on my microfiber cloth. Well, I actually bought some. Yeah, it's sticking up. I actually bought some tumble dryer sheets. Somebody had suggested a tumble dryer sheet. Yeah, well, I'll just get covered now. But I did. I had been using a just a microfiber cloth to try and stop it going everywhere. And then I just use a. This is a, a stencil brush, actually. Just use that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I would buy that especially for doing this, but it was dirt cheap at the time. And as I say, I got it thinking, I thought it was the, like, the outlining paste for glass paints. But it wasn't. Just so That's with the Pritt stick. Um, so this one you're meant to leave it for I've just had to put some tape on the bottom because I turned the bottom over and it had, with it being metal it had like cut the metal and all the glue was oozing out so yeah, such is life this is a bit wild as soon as you take the top off it starts squidging out well, I think this is what I just put a bit on my finger the other day. Oh, now I've just said that it's not doing it. Look, it didn't want to come out at all. Typical. Oh, 
Come on, you monkey. That one. And we're not leaving it an hour and a half, two hours, are we? We're just going to dob it on. Just let me wipe my finger. See how we get on with this one. I don't think these flakes are for anybody that oh, um, don't like mess, shall we say. <laughs> but I don't mind mess. I'm quite a messy person. I like doing messy things and experimenting so it doesn't bother me. But if you're somebody that's like, oh, no, then you won't like them. I don't know whether the gold sheets are sort of um, designed for the neater effect or not neater effect but for <laughs> people that don't like this mess I don't know it's not something I've ever not had the sheets I've put a bit too much on there look got no no painty paper left Anyway, you get the idea, don't you? Oh, that's nice, actually. And then I'll just keep waiting till it's dried a bit and then go over with my brush again. So that's that one, and I'll just do quickly this one. High tack. I've not used this glue a lot. High tack. Very sticky glue. wonder if this will come out. Up there. But yeah, certainly if you're using, you know, something like that, then and you're using a, th a thicker lay, you want a thick bead of it, I would leave it to dry. Otherwise, when you press your, your gold flakes on, it's just going to smosh it down and just play just experiment that's the best way of finding out how, what works for you but i've just done all that and you've not seen me do it in the box that'll be typical So they all work pretty much the same, but I think I think Pritt stick glue stick works as good as anything. Seems to be quicker. That's that one. So I'll, I usually take a bit more time just to brush it off, but I'll leave that, and let it dry a bit. So I hope that's helped you, ladies. Whether you can get other special glues for it, I don't know. But I don't see why you should pay extra because no doubt it'd be really expensive if you get the special one. <laughs> I'm not one for doing that sort of thing. It's, you know, I prefer to just test things and see if what you've got works. But I do have a fetish for buying all sorts of different glues. Anyway, so, right, enough twaddle. I'll say I hope that helps you. Um, I'll get tidied up now and clear my desk and see what else I can do today. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.